popular brands are all on my list. So number one, they're all free of the most common top allergenic ingredients. And of course, any person and any pet can be allergic to literally anything. So it doesn't mean that they're hypoallergenic. There really truly is no hypoallergenic food because somebody could be allergic to a strawberry and most people aren't. And some people could be allergic to a peanut and a lot of people aren't. Same kind of theory. Um, sure. <laughs> Kelly brought me a towel since I got the treat all over myself. Thanks, babe. So that's number one. Um, also in that, so the top allergen producing ingredients for pets are gluten, soy, dairy, wheat, and carrageenan is another big one. So I make sure those are, none of those are in any of these foods. I needed it to be whole food ingredients. I didn't want to see meat byproducts and I get a lot of questions on this. Byproducts of meat sometimes can be healthy when they're healthy whole organs. However, on pet food labeling laws, meat byproducts can be a whole number of things and typically aren't the healthy byproduct parts of animals. They're more like feet and beaks and feathers and things that are just very void of nutrition and really hard to digest for pets. So that's why I wanted to make sure no byproducts were in any of these because it's just not providing good nutrition and being a, a more of a strain on their digestive tract. We needed them to be species appropriate ratio of protein, fats, and carbs. For cats, that is 90% protein. They should be eating 90% protein. In almost all cases, there's few very specific health conditions where we might want to lower the protein, but that is the species appropriate ratio. Dogs is about 75 to 80% protein. Affordably priced, something that people can actually buy and afford because there are you know, a lot of these concierge kind of companies popping up now and, you know, like $12 a pound is, you know, a little bit beyond the price range last time. I wanted them to be available at most retailers online and brick and mortar stores throughout the U.S. so you can actually find the food. Um, companies that were at least not regularly involved in pet food recalls um, you know, I didn't search years and years back, so maybe there was a recall once from one of these companies 10 years ago. You know, I didn't dig that deep, but I know and I've watched the pet food recalls every year. If you check back on my Instagram channel or my YouTube channel, I actually did the 2020 canned cat food recalls just a couple weeks ago, so you can see which ones were. But all of these companies are consistently clear of recalls. And I also needed it to meet the AAFCO standards for nutrition appropriate for all life stages. So this means that all these foods can be fed to kittens, pregnant moms, nursing moms, all the way to senior animals. The idea of adult foods, adult cat foods or adult dog foods, is really just a marketing thing. What we should be doing and should be feeding all of our pets every day is a diet that's as best nutrition as possible. And for canned foods, the best nutrition possible you can feed are the ones that are balanced for all life stages, something that a kitten can grow and develop on is a better nutritional diet than a food that an adult cat just maintains on. So it's a big thing to pay attention to. And that eliminates a huge percentage of cat canned foods out there, by the way. If you just go by that one criteria, you're probably removing 90% because it costs these companies more to make the food healthy, healthier, more nutrient dense, for kittens to grow and thrive than it does for them to just make it just enough so that your adult cat eats it and doesn't get sick. So very important. Um, I wanted the company to formulate at least four different proteins for cats. So many times again and again, there's a lot of companies that pop up and they're targeted mostly for dogs and they throw out a couple canned cat foods or kibbles. I don't ever recommend that. So I don't even go down that track, but 
you know, they throw out a couple canned cat foods to get some cat parents buying their product. And they only make two, sometimes two or three flavors or different proteins. And so that's a huge concern for me because I know brand loyalty is strong and I don't want to send somebody to a brand where they're only making a, a few different proteins because that's not healthy for our cats. Ideally, we should be rotating about five or six different proteins in their diet at all times. Within one month period, feeding about six different proteins is what's best and healthy for them. So I made sure that all of these brands carried at least four or more different protein sources. Um, and also on that point that they carried protein sources that are actually healthy and appropriate for cats. So things like duck, turkey, rabbit, quail, chicken, lamb, venison, whitefish, salmon, beef, elk, goat, kangaroo, kind of some odd ones there, but um, a lot of companies end up putting out meats that like only forms of meat that cats really don't thrive as best on. So wanted to make sure they had a good variety. Um, yeah, so that was it. That was all of my main criteria of why these foods are on the list. And hey to everybody that's jumping on. Thanks for watching. And so now I will just tell you guys the list. Sorry, I don't have them all memorized yet. Um, I put them in order from least price to most price. So new low brand canned cat food is number one. They made it the you know, all the criteria and they have the least price. So that's the only reason they're number one. I tried to, to you know, um, let everybody know that I wouldn't necessarily say that this is the best or the most expensive food is the best either. You know, just do a little more digging yourself, look into the ingredients. So they're all very comparable formulas. Some of the higher priced ones have a little bit of some special qualities to the food. They're either using like only human grade meats or grass fed meats, or they have some added ingredients that are really beneficial and, and healthy, but also a little higher price. So just, throwing that out there. You know, it's not really a best to worst kind of thing. This is just by the cost. So Nulo was the best cost. If you purchase in the large cans, they make the normal five and 5.5 ounce cans like a lot of these brands do, but then they also sell a larger one in a 12 ounce can. So ounce by ounce, if you buy in the 12 ounce can, it's the best price at 23 cents an ounce. Next, number two, Red Barn canned cat food. And that came in at 24 cents an ounce. Number three, Merit canned cat food at 30 cents an ounce. Number four, Dr. Elsie's canned cat food. And Merrick and Dr. Elsie's, by the way, are almost identical formulas um, on some of their products. So I think they might be manufactured at one kind of same plant. I don't know. But, and they're very same, similar in price. Merrick's 30 cents. Um, an ounce and Dr. Elsie's is 31 cents an ounce. Number five is only natural pet. Many of you might not know that one. They don't, they don't sell as frequently to in store brick and mortar retailers. And they're just now kind of expanding their network of where they sell for years and years. They only sold on their website, but I do see them expanding now. So because of that availability, I did include them on the list because they have a great product and really good formula. So they're number five at 36 cents an ounce. Number six, Organics canned cat food. And just like it sounds, their kind of special quality is they do use organic meats in, I'm not positive they use organic in all of the formulas, but I know several of the formulas they use organic meats. So that's a plus and some organic vegetables little higher cost for you at 37 cents an ounce though. Number seven is Nature's Variety Canned Cat Food. Um, jumps up to 40 cents an ounce. Number eight is a newer company to me. I actually hadn't heard of this one. And thank you to all of you. Before I wrapped up this pet tip, I posted and asked all of you, what foods do you feed? And I got hundreds. <laughs> and I went through each one of them and I actually were able, I was able to weed out a few new ones that I didn't know of 
that made the list. So really cool, guys. Thank you for that. This is Raw's canned cat food, R-A-W-Z canned cat food at 48 cents an ounce. Next one, Zwi Peak, um, Z-I-W-I-P-E-K, kind of an odd name. I don't really know why they named it that, but um, they're a good formula. A little bit more pricey, 54 cents an ounce. They use a special ingredient, green-lipped mussels. They add in their formula, which is really healthy for joint health and mobility. So definitely could be something worth it if you have a cat with arthritis or an older cat. And last on the list is Feline Natural. Another new one to me, but good formula. Pretty high cost though, the highest cost on my list at 57 cents an ounce. So that is the total list of all of the foods that meet all those criteria and in order of cost from least to greatest. However, one little caveat here. I found three other formulas that are really good, really good nutrition, good brands, good formulas. The only one thing they didn't meet on my criteria list was that they are made for adult maintenance only. They do not have formulas for all life stages, so you cannot feed these foods to kittens, nursing, or pregnant moms. But because of their good formulas availability and, the, and they matched everything else on my list, I wanted to throw this in there for you guys. Especially the first one on the list is very, very affordable. So again, I wouldn't recommend feeding these long term because they don't match that quality nutrition in the complete balanced diet, but could be a great thing for some of you to cut cost a little bit when you need to, you know, feed one of them for a period of time and kind of flip-flop and it's good to rotate brands as well. Or just have it on hand as like backup food, you know, we all have those whoopsies when we're like running out of food. So I'm calling this my alternate list then. Number one on the alternate list, Dave's canned cat food comes in at only 18 cents an ounce. Number two, Koha canned cat food, again, good brand, just they only make for adult maintenance only, 36 cents an ounce. And last one, Open Farm, and I like this one, it's kind of different, it actually comes in a box instead of a can, which is good, perhaps better nutrition, you know, sometimes we think the, you know, certain materials using the lining of the cans aren't so healthy, so. Yeah, they put it actually in a box and it's 46 cents an ounce. So those are the final ones on my list. Whew. So what do you think, Bailey? Bailey's down here just like, Mom, can we play yet? And Stubby's back. Oh, yay, my Stubby. So yeah, thank you for watching. That was a lot. I know it's a lot of info, but super, super helpful information. I was so happy to be able to break down in these simple lists. We have the blog posted on the website, so go to renewedpet.com. You can get the written blog where you can see all the ones listed out and you know choose the one that's right for you and your cat.